Und das ist ja nicht unbedingt. So, so last class we talk about AC voltage applied across resistor. So uh, this is the AC voltage we talk about, and this is applied across a resistor, and we talk about AC voltage applied across a resistors. <coughs> uh, we say that voltage is voltage and current are not the same. I mean, they are in phase. That means uh, current is given by this I m sine omega t. That means they are in phase. Voltage and the current are in phase. And then uh, the average power is going to be uh, I square r, where I is equal to I r m s, which is equal to I m root 2. This is what we talk about. And then, uh, then we talk about AC voltage applied across uh, inductor. When we talk about AC voltage applied across inductors, we say that uh, this is the voltage we supply. All right, this is voltage across a source. Voltage applied by a source, and we talk about we say that current is equal to I am uh, sine. Omega t minus pi pi two. This tells that uh, current is uh, pi by two behind uh, voltage. That means voltage is ahead of current by pi by two. Voltage is pi by two ahead of current. This is what we talk about, and we we, we use the phasor diagram method to to understand this. This is the phasor diagram method. This tells that current is behind by pi by 2 all right so this is what we talk about current is behind pi by 2 so it means that if voltage is at maximum or voltage is at uh, the uh, instantaneous value all right or voltage is uh, uh, is at uh, maximum then the current would be zero so therefore phase is phase difference is pi by 2 all right and then we talk about average power. We say that average power is equal to zero. So there is no power. There is no power uh, dissipations in a cycle. We talk about in a cycle. That since it is alternating current. Right? This is what we talk about. This is what we talk about. This is uh, this is a voltage. This is a power supplied to a capacitor, uh, inductor, and this is power returned back to the source. Supplied to a uh, 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 inductor and return back to the source in a cycle, which, uh, the, the total power is going to be zero. Alright, so this is what we have. And now, today, I'm going to do a uh, voltage applied to a pure capacitor. Voltage applied to a pure capacitor. So, this is what we are going to do today. So, let me say. Uh, this is uh, V is equal to Vm sine omega t. This is instantaneous voltage. Instantaneous voltage at time t. And this is amplitude of voltage. And omega is, ang uh, is angular frequency. And t is any instant of time, given time t. t is given time t. This is what we have. And, and then what we are going to see, since in, in a capacitor, what we are going to do is that uh, we have learned this, right? In the chapter number two, that if I apply a DC source to a capacitor, the circuit is cut off. That is, when I apply a DC source, let's say I have a capacitor like this. I apply a DC source. <clears throat> there will be a charging. There will be a charging, and then uh, once the, the capacitor get fully charged, uh, the current is going to be zero, right? I is going to be zero, or when or uh, once uh, the, the capacitor is fully charged. Once the Q is become uh, Q max, that means Q is fully charged. So therefore, we say that 
when I when when we keep our capacitor in a DC source, uh, the capacitor doesn't allow a DC source. Uh, the capacitor doesn't allow a direct current. Why? Because current doesn't vary, right? And there will be a current. There will be a, a, a instantly. There will be a a current for a very short period of times during a charging during a charging time. And once the capacitor get fully charged, then current will be zero. Why? Because this get this voltage is equal to voltage is applied. This is for capacitor, right? So for cap as far as capacitor is concerned, capacitor doesn't allow a DC current, right? However, it allow it allow uh, alternating current. However, it allow alternating current, right? Why? Because in case of alternating currents, and uh, the voltage keeps on increasing and decreases, right? When we talk about alternating currents. What we get, this is the voltage, this is how voltage changes, right? this is how voltage changes, voltage changes the times. Alright, so therefore, since the voltage is alternating, and the, the voltage across the capacitor is also alternating, thus capacitor allow uh, alternating current. It may be in, in exam, if they ask why alternating current allow, uh, why capacitor allow alternating current means, in case of alternating current, voltage is alternating at any instant of times, so therefore, capacitor undergo a charging and discharging, charging and discharging, thus it allow alternating current. So this is a point. So therefore, this is the voltage we supply. And I say that at any instant of time, the Q is, Q is charged on a capacitor at Given time t at given time t at given time t. This is at any instant of time t, q is a charge. Q is a sometime we could write q is equal to t of t, q of t, right? This is the point, right? Now look at here. Look at here. Uh, I is what? Right? Instantaneous. Let's say I is uh, instantaneous current, right? Instantaneous currents, current, O, O, I say current at, uh, at time T. So, what is I? What is I? I is equal to dQ by dT. I is equal to, I is equal to dQ by dT. This is, this is the, what we know, right? So now what I would have to do, instantaneous voltage, instantaneous voltage can be given by uh, Q by C. Instantaneous voltage is given by Q by C, right? So this is the instantaneous voltage, this is instantaneous current, this is capacitance, right? this is the capacitance. Instantaneous charge, instantaneous voltage, inst capac capacitance, this is capacitance. Hmm. All right. So this is the source we supply, this is the capacitor, alright, this is what we have. Now, now what, what, what I would like to do is, what is Q, right? This Q is equal to uh, Vc, Q is equal to v, v is the instantaneous voltage, so I, I, I would like to substitute this, this is equal to Vn sine omega t. This is what I have. Now I would like to put this, right? What is instantaneous current? Instantaneous current is equal to dQ by dt. This is equal to CVM sine omega t. Everything is constant. Uh, I'm going to differentiate sin omega t, if I differentiate sin omega t, what we get is C V M cos omega t multiplied by omega, alright, so therefore I am instantaneous current is equal to C omega V M cos omega t. Now what I would like to do is, uh, I would like to figure out this. I would like to I, 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 I would like to rewrite this, saying that uh, I am is equal to V m 
divided by 1 by C omega, omega C, what is that? So that, this means that, this means that this represents a uh, uh, capacitive reactant, right? So I would like to write this, this is equal to C, right? What is C? Xc is capacitive reactants. Xc is capacitive reactants. This is what we have. This is what we have. All right. So this is capacitive reactant, right? So, so unlike inductive reactants, we have inductive reactants which is equal to xn is equal to omega n. So this is for capacitive reactants, right? Now. I m is equal to uh, V m divided by X c. All right. Now what I can do is now what I what I can do is now what I can do is I m I is equal to I m. This is equal to I m uh, cos omega t. I say this is equal to I m. This is equal to I n. And then where I m is equal to V m x c. Alright. And now I, I would like to uh, I use the identity that cos omega t is can be written as a sign omega t plus pi by 2. Alright. Therefore what I would like to write here is uh, finally I is equal to I n sine omega t plus pi by t. This is what we have. This is what we have. Alright. This is for current. This is for this is how we represent current. This is how we represent current, right? Now this is the current. And uh, with the maximum current which is equal to Vm divided by Xc, where Xc is equal to X1 uh, by omega C omega, where omega is the uh, angular frequency and C is capacitance, right? So this is what we have. Now uh, summarize, V is equal to Vm sin omega t and I is equal to I am uh, uh, sine omega t plus pi by 2. Now look at here, unlike uh, unlike uh, inductor, right? What, what we have in case of inductor, right? So in, in case of inductor, current is uh, behind uh, uh, voltage, all right? Now here in this case, the current is ahead of voltage. Here in this case, current is ahead of, current is uh, pi by 2 ahead of voltage, all right? So this tells that this tells that this this implies that this implies that uh, unlike uh, you know unlike inductor unlike inductor uh, for capacitors for capacitors for capacitors current is uh, voltage is uh, voltage is uh, current. I would like to say current is current is pi by two ahead of ahead of voltage ahead of voltage. This is what we have. This is what we have in case of pure capacitor. This is what we have in case of pure capacitors. So. So look at here, now I would like to compare with the inductor here. So for inductor, inductor, let's say for inductor, uh, a current is behind a voltage by pi by 2, that is I is equal to I am uh, sin omega t minus pi by 2. Alright. But now for capacitor, 
current is pi by 2 I have of uh, I have of voltage this is what we have this is what we have and now I, I would like to represent uh, uh, in case of a phasor diagram method Now I would like to represent this in terms of phasor diagram method So this is what we have all right, this is a voltage, this is a voltage, phasor voltage, we represent the phasor voltage, phasor voltage across uh, inductor uh, V is a phasor voltage, all right. Let's say I say phasor voltage uh, across inductor and I is a phasor current in a circuit. Alright, now look at here. Now this says that this is a current. This is a phasor current. This is a base of voltage and the current is ahead. Look at here, current is ahead of voltage by pi by Look at here, this, this is the point. Current is ahead of voltage over there. And this vertical component, we talk about this, right? The vertical component always represents the instantaneous value, right? This is the vertical component. Uh, this is the vertical component of vertical component of vertical component of current. At time t. So there, this is what we have, and this is the uh, this is the vertical component of voltage, right? Say vertical component of voltage. This is the vertical component of voltage. So vertical component of voltage is given by uh, vertical component of voltage is given by a Vm sine omega t and the vertical component of current is given by I am I am sine omega t plus pi pi. This is the point. This is the point. This is the phasor diagram representation. So and we, we rotate, right? When you rotate, uh, very similar to inductors, when a voltage is at maximum, then current goes to zero. When a current is at maximum, voltage comes to zero. So current is leading, right? Current is leading. Voltage, uh, voltage is voltage is behind. Voltage is behind, current is leading, right? Voltage is behind, current is leading, right? So this is and uh, this diagram tells you how you how you relate phasor diagram with uh, sine uh, curve or sine curve. So look at here. A uh, voltage is going ahead. Look at this. This is a voltage and this is a current. All right. So voltage is ahead of current by pi by two. Right? This is the voltage and current is behind. I mean the current is ahead. Current is ahead of voltage. Why? Right? Because current is already at uh, maximum and that time voltage is zero. So therefore current is ahead. Current is already at maximum. Uh, instantaneous current is already at maximum when when uh, when uh, when the value of a voltage is zero, right? At 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 the given time t. So therefore, this 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 is a comparative studies, right? This is a comparative studies of uh, phasor diagrams and sine diagrams. And this this look much easier than this. This look much easier than this, right? So this is what we have. This is what we have, and now, now let me uh, let me let me uh, study. Uh, let me discuss what about uh, what about uh, average power. What about average power, right? 
Uh, instantaneous power is given by, look at here, what's instantaneous power? First, let's say instantaneous power. Instantaneous power across capacitor is equal to uh, VI. Instantaneous voltage, this is instantaneous voltage. This is instantaneous voltage. This is instantaneous current. One is instantaneous voltage, other one instantaneous current. Now I represent this V is equal to Vn sine omega t, I is equal to In cos omega t, this is equal to Vn Im sine uh, omega t cos omega t this is equal to v m i am divided by 2 sine 2 omega this i use i did it 2 sine theta cos theta is equal to uh, sine 2 theta right so this is equal to now look at here the average power is going to be this is instantaneous power, now average power is going to be average of this, average of this, then now average power is equal to, what is the average of sine omega t? Average of any sine function is 0, average of any sine function is 0, this 2, average of any sine function is 0, so therefore this is equal to 0 uh, because this is equal to 0. So therefore again, uh, very similar to uh, inductor capacitor, average power is 0. For capacitor, average power is 0. So this is how we are going to explain here, right? Uh, uh, let's uh, do for one complete cycle, right? So I'll be having a first quarter. I divide the cycle into a four part. This is uh, very well written in a textbook. Uh, this is divided into a four cycle. All right. So this is uh, one quarter, uh, second quarter, third quarter, and a fourth quarter, right? So what happens is this is a current and this is the voltage and this is the uh, charge, right? And look at here. Now, uh, this part, all right, charging takes place. Uh, if, I, if I write a capacitor here in this case, uh, in this case, uh, capacitor undergoing a charging. Let's say capacitor undergoing a charging. Capacitor undergoing a charging. That means capacitor is getting energy. Capacitor is getting energy from source. Now, in this case, the direction of current is opposite. Since the direction of current is opposite, now capacitor undergoing discharge. Capacitor undergoing a discharge. Capacitor is discharging, right? In this case, capacitor discharging. So I just put it less. Right, undergoing a discharge. So in this case, this first quarter of energy gained from a source, therefore charge take place. Now a second quarter, what happens is that since the current direction is opposite, whatever charge capacitor has start now uh, now losing, right? So therefore this is discharge. Now look at here. Once now once the capacitor is already at this side. All right, now look at here, this is equal to Now capacitors are charging in all the directions Capacitors are charging in all the directions Why? Because at this time already capacitor uh, in this is going to uh, vanish Now capacitor Start charging in you know, opposite direction. Now this is charging case. 
Now this is starting to take place. Energy gained from source. Alright. Now finally again, once it reach here, once it reach here, current start going in opposite directions. When the current start going in opposite directions, then capacitor start now discharging. Now this is going to be less. Alright. So in a cycle, what we get is uh, this half quarter cycle energy gained from a source, this energy returned to the source, this energy gained from a source, this energy returned to a source. So overall in a cycle, overall, overall in a cycle, uh, total power is going to be zero. Total power is equal to zero. So this is what we have. Alright, this is what we have. And this is again representation. Look at here. Alright, we have uh, well, what we have in case this. This is uh, this is what we have current, and this is what we have for voltage. Alright, and I, in, in, a, in, a, in a much easier way, I can say that voltage and current are in the same directions, then power is positive. Voltage and current are in the opposite directions, power is negative. Voltage and current are along the same line, negative, negative, plus, positive, negative, positive, positive, negative, minus. So this is easier to learn. But then this doesn't give you a conceptual understanding, right? So the concept, con conceptual understanding is that energy gain, right? Like this, energy gain and then charging take place and then this charging take place, charging take place, this charging take place, right? So this is again here also, right? Both I and V are positive, positive. One R V is positive, current is negative, power is negative. Both are negative, then power is positive. Why minus into minus is plus. One is positive, other is negative, then it is minus. So this you can uh, if you if you don't have the, uh, if, if you couldn't uh, follow this thing, you can uh, you can uh, remember something like this. All right. This is what we have, right? So now now overall we have done with we have done with. All three, right? Uh, uh, components. Alright, that is resistor, capacitor, and inductor, right? So, so let me let me give you one, uh, uh, you know, a quick uh, recapitulation of all the three, right? So I just write here: uh, pure resistor, uh, pure resistor, and then. Let me write this side. Let's say pure resistor, pure resistor, pure inductor. And then you capacitors. So for resistor V is equal to V and sine omega the same, right? This is the alternative voltage you supply. Right? Voltage you supply all same, all the same, right? Now what about current, right? In case of uh, pure resistor, current is equal. Current is in phase. This is what we call implies in phase. In phase with voltage. Alright. And here current is equal to I am mm, sine omega t minus pi by 2 or i is equal to minus i n cos omega t that is out of phase we call it as out of phase and that means out of phase and in this case i is equal to i m sine uh, omega t plus Pi by two, or I is equal to I m cos omega t. 
Uh, this is uh, the phase difference is zero, right? Phase difference is zero. Phase difference is zero, right? That means voltage <coughs> is along. Voltage is along current. Now, in this case, uh, phase difference is. Uh, minus pi by 2, phase difference is minus pi by 2, and voltage is voltage is ahead uh, of current. And in this case, a voltage is behind. Voltage is behind. Current by pi by two, and that's, this is what we have, right? So, uh, so let me let me uh, use a phasor diagram. Let me use a phasor diagram. This is what we have. This is V we have. This is I we have. And the T. Right. This is what we have. In, in this case, what we have is voltage is I have, right? This is voltage, this is current, this is omega by T, this is 90 degree. Alright, and in this case, this is voltage, this is current, this is pi by T. Alright. Now what about average power, right? In this case, average power is equal to Vi, where V is equal to Vm divided by root 2, this is equal to Vrms, and I is equal to Im divided by root 2, this is equal to Irms. Here, average power is equal to 0, here, average power is equal to so this is the difference. These are the differences between uh, uh, voltage uh, across voltage across pure capacitor, pure resistor, and this is something like a summary of what they have done so far. Okay. So so go through this, and now next uh, we would like to start uh, AC voltage apply across uh, inductor, uh, resistor, capacitor, and inductor. Thank you.